We can go out tonight, if you like. Well, should we be saving for the wedding? Well, I'll be working back at the farm soon. So, no regrets, then? You're turning down the head groundsman's gig? No. Well, Andy, if Robert's going to be living here, and it's going to be awkward with Diane, Victoria, and what about family dues? You know, our wedding, for a start. You know, this would have been a step up for you, Andy, that management. You know, I don't want to see you fighting with your brother all the time. You know, he was trying to reach out. Lording it up, my like. Yeah, and you chucked it back in his face. I don't get why you're so keen. Well, you know, maybe if you two were to get along, then I can move my missus back up there as well. Well, you're doing all right at Butler's. Yeah, but I'd make loads more money, Andy. It might be better if we were both there. Face it. He might have been gone all these years, but nothing's changed. He's still the same old Robert. You don't you think it's time we all moved on? Are you delusional or just plain daft? Uh, it's not that mad. I virtually ran the place. Yeah, and how did that work out for the last guy? Hey, his mental health issues had nothing to do with me. Uh, coffee, please, Bob, and whatever my potential new boss wants. I don't like you, Nicola. Congratulations, Robert. I heard that I accepted your offer. Yep. The estate agent's just been showing us all the properties we'll own in the village. Ah. Oh, Panini, won't you tick? You offered Andy a job and you hate him. Yes, and you've made such a great impression, accusing Chrissy of theft. It merely proves that nothing gets past me, and anyway, we laughed about it after. While you were gossiping about me. Oh, don't worry, I didn't tell her any of your deepest, darkest. You see, discreet, loyal, trustworthy, it's all there on my CV. How about I email it over? How about you don't? Oh, get over it, Robert. So I popped your cherry. Gee, someone had to. I'm hardly going to tell your fiancé, am I? I'm sure Robert would tell her himself. Can't imagine they have any secrets. <laughs> Leftovers. They're fine, but Marlon's back today, so we'll do his usual fridge inspection. Oh, thanks, Vic. I'll put the kettle on. No, I can't stop. I just... I wanted to make sure you were OK after you run in with Robert. Which one? Well, at least I didn't hit him last night. And that's progress. Um, does Katie know you spend all day looking at swimwear models? He's stupid. It's an holiday site. Oh, for honeymoon? Yeah, well, I was thinking of it. It's not going to be the Maldives, though. Is that where Declan took her? Mm, but look how that turned out. And anyway, it's probably best you keep your compo money. At least till you're working. So you've been comparing notes with Katie? You reckon I should have taken this job and all? No fear. I'm happy Robert's back and I'd love the two of you to get on, but we both know he's only making a point to Lawrence. Like he was the bigger man. And he knew you'd tell him to shove his job. Hey, how about Robert Sugden being back and his style, eh? Yeah. If it was me or you, we'd be called gold diggers, but so far it's only her old man who thinks the same. Well, and Andy, cos... He hit him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Anyway, you were talking about Jimmy. <laughs> Playing nice with him. Oh, don't worry. I intend to. Maybe I should give that delightfully pushy little terrier the PA position. Marlon. Hey. Have you just got married? Yep, yep. That's my lovely bride sat over there. Nicola? No! I mean, no. No, I beg the other one, Laurel. Sorry, Marlon Dingle. Andy tells me you've snapped up on farm. Yes, so now just the joy of packing. Oh. <laughs> so when do you move in, then? What's it to you? Gonna turn up the housewarming present? Look, Robert, that shouldn't have kicked off yesterday. Vic made me see he was only trying to be the bigger man. Cool. No hard feelings on my side? Then thanks for the offer as well. I'd like to accept it. I'm gonna need a hefty salary and flexi time, but that's if the offer still stands. Sure. Well, welcome aboard, Andy. Uh, are you sure about this? You told him to stuff that job and with good reason. Don't worry, Vic, I can handle it. And anyway, it's only temporary. Once I've had my phone, I'll be back at the farm. And she never... Hey, what's the point in coming out if you've got a face on you? We could have stayed at home to wrap. Another pint and a white wine, please, Alicia. Yep. Look, I told you, Robert only did it to get back in Lawrence's good books. Oh, you know that for a fact, do you? Yeah, I know my brother. He never thought I'd take it. I said, why did you? Well, you should have seen his face. It was like a bulldog chewing a wasp. He couldn't say no. Well, it's not funny, Andy. But here it is. 
I don't want it to be like it was before. I want you to build bridges, not blow them up. Lawrence thinks he might have dropped his They're under the bar. Oh, what, these? Cheers. See you. See you later. But, Rob, about this job, I know you're not happy, but I just wanted to say... Don't play games with me, Andy, cos you'll lose, like you always do. Confident? Is that cos you're a kept man? Hardly. I helped increase the sales by 32% in my first year. So what's the crap with Chris's dad, then? He's not exactly your biggest fan, is he? Keep your nose out. You're the boss. Make a mug of me again, and you'll be sorry. <laughs>